Hansen, Window Warriors Forum. Check us out at windowcleaningwarriors.com. Today we're going to take a look at a clip on efficiency of fanning a window. This is a really large window. Large windows are great to learn on. We're going to first start with the right hand knocking out corner one, two, three. We're going to come back down and knock that fourth corner out and then leave the center to fan it back and forth to work it out to that closing point. I'm closing down to the side. So when I close down to that left bottom corner, I'm not going to squeegee all the way into that corner, just enough for that squeegee width to be able to close out. We're going to do the same thing here, but it's going to be in reverse with the opposite hand. We're going to use the left hand here, corner one, corner two, corner three, come back all the way up, go straight down that long side, then leave that center to work back and forth to close out. I find this to be efficient because it keeps your two side vertical frames clean. Now this is what happens when we don't knock out the corners first. Just for an example, with the right hand, we're going to knock out the first two corners and then we're going to stop here and come all the way over. Well, what's going to happen is right where we meet this right frame and then we meet that left frame and that right frame again, you have the opportunity as you get going so fast that you can leave a triangle mark there if you don't overlap your strokes enough. That's why I like to go straight down this side of the window. We'll show you one more time here why I like the fan using my down strokes going completely down that entire side. Go straight down this entire side here, it keeps a nice clean edge to eliminate that little triangle mark. Same thing on the left side. And now that you have the center to work, you just work that center back and forth to close out. Just one way of doing it. Hope, it, hope this tip helps. Remember, you saw it here, Window Warriors Forum.